It's not easy to take on that kind of pressure. She's been a starter the entire way. Brink and the paint banks it up good. Now you looked at that and there was no path for her to get there. Then they'll get right into that secondary break and they're off to it. Jones guarded by Osborne. Missouri off in high post swish. As well as for Stanford, Fran Belibi has checked in for the Cardinal. Uh, London Jones is on for the Bruins. There's Osborne, high archer. That was a much better set. Conti, pretty. Right through, and the Bruins chipping away at that deficit right back in it. That'll get you some minutes, especially playing for Tara. Well, they're relying on defense a lot more this year than they have in years past. <laughs> yeah, good point, but there she is, and that's what she does. I Bruins get the rebound, and trying to push tempo. Connie thought she had a lane. She did not. Pessoir trying to get some space, gets the and one, squeezes it up on the baseline. Boy, having her back is huge. Rice, and one! In motion, and what body control and strength. Believe eight points, ten boards, four of them offensive boards in the win against Oregon last night. How about an assist for Cameron Brink? Oh, she sure. gave so much credit to Alyssa Peely and just said, Speaking of, there's Cameron Brink continuing to make her presence known, but she gave so much praise to Alyssa Peely getting that honor. Bernaskowicz has checked in, five in blue for the Bruins, up high, okay. and Brink, nothing but net. We are entering the Brink zone. Rice. Trying to get away from Belibi, and Belibi from behind. Sends it out of play, four on the shot clock. <laughs> Swar yep. gets it. They needed that one. Sontag hanging with Brink. Some contact in there between those two. The polo that hurts if you're the Bruins. See how far off Charisma Osborne's playing on Haley Jones. And it, it hurt her. Yeah, she lost track of her. And right there, gave her too much space. But she impacts the game because she just completely consumes a defender. Yeah. Oh, I'm sliding that one through. First points of the game for London Jones. And they need her to be electric. Well, she's going to work on that shot in the offseason to yep. get that kind of funky spin out of there. And she's going to be a good shooter in years to come. Yep. Defense a little side spin. Hand in the passing lane. Sontok with the steal. Out running layup. Good. Freshman for this UCLA team. They're a a different level, that's for sure. And the inbound play, that's a good one for Bessoir. A little run here for the Bruins. Ten points for her. Look at the, it's just incredible, <laughs> the congestion in the paint. Yeah, it is smashed inside. Brown back in. She's got Belibi. Belibi, though, spins it up left-hand good. Well, fourth quarter, expect this game to start moving a lot faster. Stanford really wants to run on UCLA. Listening to Corey Close as well. The transition game is where they've been good. So I assume this game is going to speed up quickly. Conti ball fake. Believe he's switching off. And Osborne drives it in and gets it. Shot clock again. Down to three and a turnover. The Bruins forcing it. Rice going to run. Conti spotted up. Right side switch. Conti left side, high archer in. They've done exactly what they've needed to do. Can they do a little more and really finish it off? Yeah, is that the big time bucket from Agnes Imanopu? Now or never, as you said earlier. Rice, up high and they take the lead. They are 1-11 against this Stanford Cardinal team in the Pac-12 tournament. The last time they beat the Cardinal was 2006 in this tournament. Osborne extends that lead. Both teams, two times out, timeouts apiece. Both teams in the bonus at this point. And the Cardinal got to get a bucket. The Polo on the drive, lays it up. Two point game. Up the Bruins. Number one goes down again. Two straight nights here in Las Vegas. UCLA 1-11 against the Stanford Cardinal coming in 
to this Pac-12 tournament.